For 138 days, we have witnessed the unimaginable suffering of the people of Gaza. For 138 days, we have done everything we can to enact a meaningful humanitarian response. For 138 days, we have watched the systematic obliteration of a health system we have supported for decades. We have watched our patients and our colleagues be killed and maimed. This situation is the culmination of a war Israel is waging on the entire population of the Gaza Strip. A war of collective punishment, a war without rules, a war at all costs. In Gaza, we have less and less every day. Less space, less medicine, less food, less water, less safety. Surgeons have had no choice but to carry out amputations without anesthesia on children. Medical teams have added a new acronym to their vocabulary, WCNSF, Wounded Child, No Surviving Family. Israeli forces have attacked our convoys, detained our staff, bulldozed our vehicles, hospitals have been bombed and raided, and now, for a second time, one of our staff shelters has been hit. This pattern of attacks is either intentional or indicative of reckless incompetence. Our colleagues in Gaza are fearful that as I speak to you today, they will be punished tomorrow. Madam President, attacks on healthcare are attacks on humanity. Two days ago, MSF staff and families were attacked and died in a place they were told would be protected. Today our staff are back at work, risking their lives once again for their patients. What are you willing to risk? Madam President, this must stop. We, along with the world, are closely watching how this council and its members have approached the conflict in Gaza. Meeting after meeting, resolution after resolution, this body has failed to effectively address this conflict. The people of Gaza need a ceasefire, not when practicable, but now. The consequences of casting international humanitarian law to the wind will reverberate well beyond Gaza. It will be an enduring burden on our collective conscience. This is not just political inaction, it has become political complicity.